again, YouTube. Where's my pen? Alright, so today we're going to be talking about slope-intercept form, also known as the slope-intercept equation, and its derivatives. So that means, like, what makes the slope-intercept form, like, what makes it up? And this production will be by me, Alex Cohen, and it's a Calabasas online tutoring production. So, let's get started. The formula for slope-intercept equation looks like this, y equals mx plus b, whereas m, as we discussed in the previous video, m equals slope, b equals the y-intercept, x equals any point on the graph, the x-coordinate of it, so let's just say x-coordinate, and y, it's the same thing, so any y-coordinate that corresponds to the x. So, in order to have a full equation, you need to have both of these filled in. Okay? So, for example, let's go with this. Okay, so we have 0, 0, and 1, comma 1. So, you want to find the equation of this line. So, you would use this. Right here, you know that you can find your slope easily. And I talked about how to find slope in a previous video, one that I just did a couple days ago. So, you do 1 minus 0 over 1 minus 0 for the second one equals 1. So, you have a slope of 1. So, right now you have y equals 1x plus b. Now, in order to find b, you're going to have to plug in any one of these points in in order to isolate b. So, for example, let's just choose 0, 0 because it's the easiest. So, you plug in this 0 for y, this 0 for x, and you want to find b. 1 times 0 is 0 equals 0. 0 plus b is just z b b equals 0. So you, you have b equals 0. So the equation of this line is y equals 1x. And like I said, you need to have something right there. So if you don't have anything, that's implied as plus 0. And you also could write y equals x. You don't need that 1. It's, if you, it's the same thing. If you don't have that 1 there, it's, it means 1. So Let's see, what if they say the slope is 2 and the y-intercept equals 3? Write the equation. That's just straightforward. y equals 2x plus 3. A math problem would not tell you, give you points and y-intercept because those two don't correspond. For example, let's just use the points 1, 1, and 2, 2. So I found the slope, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. 1x one plus 5, because they said that your y-intercept is 5. If you were to plug one of those in to check it, 1 times 1 plus 5, that's 6 equals 1. That doesn't equal, so that's impossible to do. So they would, they're not allowed to give you that pretty much. Now, let's see... Those are pretty much all the problems you will be given dealing with the slope-intercept form, well, the equation of it, whereas m equals the slope, b equals the y-intercept, so, so the y-intercept means that it crosses this y-axis right here at a point. So, for example, if we went right here and this point was 0, 5, it passed it at 5. So 5 would be your y-intercept right here. So really what it is, it's just when x equals 0, that's what it is. So if you wanted to find the y-intercept, all you have to do is just plug in x. Plug 0 in for x. And you'll automatically find what your y-intercept is. Now the x right here in this equation is any x-coordinate. And the y is just its corresponding coordinate. So for example right here, 1 and 1, 
that would go for x and that would go for y just because it's right here or zero and zero zero for x zero for y but you wouldn't be able to do zero for x and zero and one for y because those that's not a point it's only one one or zero zero and as I told you guys before in another video like how to find the slope so that's how you find M which we did like over here and we've also been to recap we have reviewed how to find B you just isolate it so B equals zero in this case let me just box it right here just to show you which problem I was talking about. Ugh, pen. Annoying pen. <laughs> Alright, so going back to this equation, or line, so to say, right here. So we found that the slope is 1, so we plug that in for m. And we know two points on the graph, which would be x and y. Well, one point on the graph, which is x and y. So let's just plug in for here, as I did, 0 and 0. So you plug in 0 for x, 0 for y. 1 times 0 is 0. 0 equals 0, right there. So 0 plus b equals 0. So what plus b equals 0? So that would just be 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. I know that. That just sounded confusing, but 0 plus 0 equals 0. Okay. So, B equals 0. So, you would write your equation as Y equals 1X, or it's implied if you don't put the 1. So, you could just do Y equals X. And same thing, how I told you in the beginning of the video, that you needed a... You always need to have one of these in the equation. So, you always need to have Y m x plus b so if you don't put anything for b it's implied that it's zero so right here m we already said that it's implied that it's a one you have a y you have an x and the b it's a zero so that's what your equation would look like and that is known as slope intercept form right here as that was its lessons today slope intercept form its equation and its derivatives Please check back for more recent videos. We'll try to upload as many as we can in as quick as possible. And if you have any recommendations for any videos, anything troubling you, we're all here to help. So check back next time for some more videos and peace.